I want to show you how to work with a common development issue that people find in Adobe Captivate, anchors. Take a look at the timeline here in this project. I've got three objects on my timeline. Just a typical slide. I'm going to extend the playtime for the slide just by dragging the right edge here. Notice that the objects don't move at all. Let me put the timing back. If I change the timing of an object and bump the object against end, notice that you get a red arrow to the right of the object. I'll do it again for this second object. Slide it to end and this mouse object. The red arrows are known as anchors. Watch what happens if I adjust the slide timing now that I have three anchors. On the left here, notice that the appear after time has also changed. I think that's bad news. Now I'm perfectly happy that on the right side, all three of the anchored object moved as I adjusted my time. I'll do it again. I'm just not happy with the fact that the appear after timing is getting messed up every time I extend the play time for the slide. I'll put the timing back to the way it was. So what do you do? If you want to have slide objects adjust their time automatically as you adjust the slide timing, but you don't want the appear after time to get messed up as it did just a moment ago, I'm going to select all three of these slide objects. I'm going to right click the objects and I'm going to choose show for the rest of the slide. Now the red anchors still appear on my timeline, but watch what happens if I adjust the slide timing. The object timing adjusts, the appear after timing, the timing on the left, does not. I think that's a viable workaround if you want objects to adjust as you adjust slide timing.